Hey, what's going on, everybody? Glad to be back here on uh, YouTube. I've been doing the TikTok thing. I've had a lot of issues with uh, the computer and losing the passwords and all that. And Salem was in the process of moving, so it just a lot of it got lost up. And uh, we still have some in the can. We're going to put up those. I'm gonna, but I'm going to get back on my critique series. I'm also going to try to introduce one new series uh, that I've been wanting to do for a while, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot on TikTok. I've been creating a lot of content with wrestling and then a lot of uh, football content. Uh, I'm a big Raider fan, but I've still been doing a lot of content on those on those uh, two things. And I don't think I'll do football here on YouTube. But uh, 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 football, especially the Raiders here, is uh, it's, it's the big boy game, you know. And I'm I'm uh, not that uh, I don't have that many followers to compete with those guys. Not that it's a competition, but uh, those guys are legit, man. Those guys that uh, are. Uh, youtubers uh and their uh content serrators or football and stuff so i just enjoy their content and uh stick to my uh tiktok if we keep it if uh the u.s keeps it open so but anyways man i uh, just want to say that i'm i'm uh i made a decision in my life uh to make a couple changes of course i recently changed my diet that's why i'm looking so small uh, i uh, cut out sugars and I, I, once in a while i mean you know there's some some things you can't cut out but uh, for the most part, I cut it all sweets and um, candy, sugar, all that BS. Uh, and I'm down weight. I'm down to 210 uh, from, I think it was 235 uh, a few months back. Uh, up my cardio and just eating better, cleaner. You know, uh, still having issues with breads, which I know turns into sugar. But yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll move past that. Um, but the one thing I've been uh, uh, contemplating for a while, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, is uh, I uh, do a lot of things as far as hobbies and, and just things I do in my life, whether it's working out, lifting, you know, lifting the weights and wrestling and, you know, um, things like that. There's a lot of stuff that I like doing. I'm hopefully get to go back to fishing this summer. But one of the things I've been doing for the last few years is uh, sports car collecting. Uh, and I, you know, that takes, was taking up a, a bulk of my life. And a lot of it was a bulk of my fucking money, which I didn't have a lot of. So, but I decided to um, totally walk away from it uh and stop doing it stop collecting uh so i'm gonna have one hopefully a mass sale sell all my collection i am keeping like 10 cards that have some meaning to me um but the rest of it i'm just getting rid of and selling it and i'm gonna use that money to push it into a couple other things that i'm, I'm working on uh the couple reasons why i i'm walking away from or not walking up i'm just not i'm gonna stop collecting is um i mean i could be here it's a whole nother video but one is just that the product is uh, last year it was so uh, hard to find that I think this year they really watered it down, um, and um, it, it can you can really show. I bought a couple of box of the new Prism that came out, and it was really just watered down, man. Uh, there was nothing of value in it, and all the all the guys I've been seeing on the breaking and stuff, it just same thing. Uh, so it's just not worth it. Product itself is a little cheaper, but it's still hard to find in some places. You'll get the Sage and the Pro Set and shit like that. They didn't worth anything. And then once in a while, you'll find a Chronicle or something, you know. But if you want to get the, the best product, you got to go off to eBay. A lot of those guys uh, go to the stores when the shipments come and clean it out, you know. And um, your average person can't, can't get the stuff. Uh, you have to go to them and buy it, and they double, triple the price sometimes. Um, so it's just not worth it. Uh, and then just a couple other things. It's like, you know, you spend so much money on boxes and packs and, and stuff. And, you know, if you get a, say, a, the Select. I'm a big fan of Select. Um, if you get a box of Select, say it's 30 bucks. Unless you hit something really big, you're going to lose your 30 bucks. You know, and it's a gamble. It's a chance you take. Um, I mean, I'm sure if you sold every card in there, uh, you could eventually make your money back, but I'm don't sell cards. I'm a, I'm a collector, not a flipper. And you know, you're not going to sell all your base cards right away, you know, but, um, so unless you get something good, big, it's not worth it. You're, you're better off just going on eBay and finding the card you want and buying it, which I've done a couple of times. Uh, two, like I, I, I was doing the breaking a lot and there's so many scammers on the breakers. Now they, one just came out where a guy had a downtown and, he uh, moved the card up this way or something, and then downtown was gone. And there's a lot of those guys out there, so you're paying for a break. And, you know, if you do hit something big, which is what you're going for, you could not get it. 
and just the brakes themselves, you know, um, I don't know, I mean, people may not know what a braking is, but you know, if you get on a, a brake and you get, say, um, you know, the way it works is either wheel or uh, cards, you know, they have each team on a card, you pick a number and they do it. And, and then they'll have several different boxes out there, usually of different brands or the same brand. And basically, if you spin the wheel or you land on a certain team, you get that team. So uh, the first gamble is getting in the brakes. Some of these brakes, there's people are just spending a bunch of money to get in because the product on the product's good. If you're lucky enough to get in, then you spin the wheel, roll the dice, and you might get the Raiders or you might get the Browns. Or you might get the Bengals, you might get the Niners. So it's a gamble there too. Then you have to hopefully pull something good from these boxes. So it's 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 a lot of gambling going on to do it to hopefully get you know boxes whereas you can have a bunch of boxes maybe there's even 500 cards total and you could possibly get six of team six guys from your card and, and none of them worth the shit you know and you spent 40 bucks on a break uh, but you could also you know as i did one time i spent 10 bucks getting the bills and i got a josh allen stained glass those are more rare to hit those situations but it can happen you know um, so it, that's one of the reasons. And the last reason is that the, the, the people in the community, they, they talk about the hobby and how it's for the hobby. And, you know, they give a bunch of cards to kids, which are all base cards that they just don't want. Um, but they just give you under false pretense on how this lifestyle is and how you can make all this money. And, you know, the thumbnails are, you know, clickbait is I spent $10,000 on the Dallas card show and you know, and it's you generally not their money. It's whatnot or their sponsor giving them money to do it so they can say that they did this and get views and yada, yada, yada. Or they do it and, you know, who even knows if they spent that much. And there's a couple guys that do have a lot of money doing it. But, you know, it's just a lot of the guys in it, it they say it's about the hobby and, and all this, but it's about making money. And that's what their main concern is. They'll lowball you to go sell the card to somebody else for more and say it's about the hobby. It's not, it's about making money. And that's what the hobby is. The hobby is about making money. Now with the, with the flippers that came out, it's, they have only a way to generate profit. And it's awesome that they can do that and make money that way. But for a guy like me who just wants to collect cards and collect certain people, it's just not worth it. Then, you know, whenever you talk to them about trading, they want to, their, their answer is always like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta make money on this. Well, I don't give a fuck if you gotta make money. I want this card. These cards have the same value. But he wants to lowball you so he can make a profit, and, and that's just like uh, to me. That's not that's not what I'm about. Those guys have a, a you know, and I, I don't bash them at all, but they have an ability, uh, and it's a fucking job. It's a skill. It's a fucking skill to go flip cards and make a lot of money doing this. Um, and if that, like I said, it's a skill that that they do. They have their eBay sides, the show, their eBay eBay stores, and whatnot, and all that stuff, and they're making a lot of money doing it. Um, and that's great for them, but I, I don't have enough hours hours in the day to do that or the knowledge to do all that stuff that they do. Uh, it's definitely a skill, but um, yeah, I just don't want to do this anymore. It's just, it's not, like I said, I, I met a couple of really good people, people at True Sports Cards in Rockland, awesome ass people. Um, so there, I met a lot of really cool people in it and I'm happy that I met them. They're still my friends to this day. But uh, it's just getting too much, man, with the product coming out. And it's just like you you have – there's one card and there's 40 or 50 different variations of that card. And then, you know, you get the 101, which is the same card, but it's a different color and it says 101 on it. So apparently that's the 101. But a lot of stuff's coming out like that. It's just getting too much, man. And I just don't – just don't want to do it anymore. Uh, um, so I, I'm going to just be – I'm going to do one sale, hopefully sell everything all together. If not, I can piece it out. But – it's going to take me about a week or two. And I do have three boxes coming in. Uh, blasters that I bought from Target that'll be in. I got to add those in too. But, uh, so I'm going to just sell all of them, get rid of it, and, and put it into other stuff that, I, that I, I'm that more passionate about. Uh, it's going to be rough, man. It's like cigarettes. It's an addiction. But um, I got to do it and uh, just move on. But uh, anyways, man, thanks for all. And once again, I'm not disrespecting the uh, breakers and, and the the content creators and the guys who flip cards and stuff. I, I met a lot of cool people. I love the content, but that's just not what I, I just, I don't have the ability to do that. So um, love you all, man. Talk to you later. Hope you watch my wrestling videos. I'm going to hopefully pick those up soon and talk to you all later.